Hi everybody, this is a five minute light language. It's um, a twin flame um, activation. It is to um, explore the perception of separation, um, what it, um, its purpose is, uh, what its function is, how it's assisting you to ascend and how it assists you to come into unity. So as you can see, the first card is Twin Flame Expectations. This is These cards are from the Twin Flame A Journey to the Heart key cards by Ernest Henry. Um, as each soul awakens in their own time, one of your greatest tests is, to, is allowing the other freedom to have time and space alone on their journey to self-love and self-alignment. And number two is self-love. The card card of self-love with the most powerful of intention is here to remind you that when your self-love is full within you can withstand anything it calls on you to remember this it's just um that the separation um however that shows up in your unity um is pushing you more towards self-love um, and that really is the true way to union. So really loving yourself, working on all the ways that you are not loving yourself or standing in your power um, and having expectations on anyone else um, reflected mostly through your twin flame because they're such a strong mirror. Um, it, they reflect back to you anyways that you're not, loving yourself standing in your own power in your own alignment um, and the more you do that um, the more these um, patterns holding you in separation dissolve um, the more the, the the vibration of unity um, drops in um, for both of you um, and bring into your lives um, all the things that are truly aligned to you whilst letting anything that's aligned with those patterns that are not self-loving to move out. And in loving yourself, in giving yourself the space to find yourself and align to your true self um, and really self-love, you're also loving your twin by allowing them the space they need to do the same. Um, and it means that... Um, remember, you're always connected in the higher realms, so... Um, you never really separated. It's just the illusion of separation as you work through these things in the material world. Um, and the more you come into, um, I don't want to say wholeness, you're always whole, but just come into that real alignment to who you really are and what you're here for. Um, and that unconditional love where you're not expecting anybody else to provide your happiness or meet any requirements for you to be happy because you 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 love yourself so much that you're giving yourself what you need and you draw in what you need um so that really is unconditionally loving yourself and your twin um and as each of you do that it really um exponentially helps the other do the same
あかたたたたたたたあたたたたたたかたたたたたたかたたたたたかたたたたたたたかたたたたたたかたたたたたたたかたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたた Matching up, or <laughs> they're not ready,、um, or whatever,、um, and bringing the focus back to yourself and how you can love yourself more.、Um, and、um, that shifts the dynamic. And of course, honors your twin and their process. あたたたかたかかたかたかたかかかかたかこあかたたたたかたかたかたかこうあかたたたかたかたかこうこあたたたかたかたかたかたかたかたたかたかたかたかたあたたたかたかたかたかたあたたたかたかたかたかたかたあたたたかたかたかたかたかこうこうこちょこことこうこうあたたたたたかたかたかたかたかたかたかたかたあかたたたたかたかたたかたかたたかこあかたたたかたかたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたた Oh, it's just called to、um, pick another two cards. This is from the、um, Intuit Twin Flame Oracle.、Um, and、um, I can see that these are really about how this process that you're going through that feels like separation,、um, how that is reflected down on the ground in the material world. So we got these two cards、um, communication. One Looks like the feminine one looks like the masculine.、Um, so, the feminine one, I wish I could say what I really feel. Someday I will, but right now I'm afraid to be myself. So, again, that's about aligning to who you really are,、um, loving yourself that you are,、um, you know, whole and good enough, and that who you really are、um, can be expressed out in the world openly. Um, and that in doing that, anything that is not aligned to that will drop away, and anything that is aligned to it will come in.、Um, so it's really about that confidence to be yourself. And then this looks like the masculine one.、Um, I'll contact you when I'm able to. Right now, my life is too complicated to bring you into it, but know that I do want to talk to you. So it's, it's like they'll want to connect. But、um, they're overwhelmed. And overwhelm, of course, can be、um, an avoidance of self as well, an avoidance of what you really want to do or what you really desire or who you really are.、Um, getting、um, caught up in the busyness and the responsibilities and not making the space for self reflection. and To feel into who you really are and what you really want, and if this is really working for you in its current form,、um, and making the required changes. So,、um, that's how this process of separation is showing up in our day to day lives is、um, for both, but let's just say the feminine energy、um, is needing to just really.、Um, Feel like they can be who they really are in the real world,、um, and that anything they lose,、um, and remember, this is the feminine in all of us, in both the masculine gender and the feminine gender, anything they lose is、um, not aligned to their true self, but that there's so much to gain by being in their truth and authenticity and having the courage to step into that. Um, 
and and that comes down to self-love loving yourself as you really are rather than what you think you're expected to be and this is underneath the expectations card so um, you're scared to say how you feel or act on how you feel because of what others expect of you and what you're therefore programmed to be um, so it's really breaking free of that by going into self-love and self-truth and then the masculine side the masculine energy um, within all of us um, is I'll contact you because masculine energy is about active contact strategy um, action I'll contact you when I'm able to right now my life is too complicated and this is underneath the self-love so um, avoiding looking at the self and giving love to the self because if you're really self-loving you would make time for the things that you want to do the people that you want to have in your life um, rather than getting caught up in the active world um, which again is about expectations of others but more at a like work level or functional level um, an action level um, busyness Feel a real shift through the throat chakra. Clearing of the crown. Feeling the heart chakra expanding, clearing out, connecting with the throat. So uh, the throat chakra, the expression of the heart in the real world. Feeling that coming right down through the cells of your body, through the soles of your feet, into the earth, and grounding, embodying that um, self love which is unconditional and allows others the free. In allowing yourself to have the freedom to be yourself, you're also allowing others to be who they really are. Um, you're releasing the expectations on you by others and you're releasing the expectations you have on others, especially your twin, because your twin is your mirror. Itako. Blessings, everybody. And listen as many times as you need to. It goes a level deep every time. Um, things around this thing might come up for you. Just um, be aware that they're coming up to release. Let them go with love. Um, stay aligned to your truth and self-love and they will shift um, for you. Blessings.